we are going to create a snowflake that looks like this or something similar to this with a little hole in it so you can hang it up. So I'm going to start a new part studio. I'm going to make sure that my workspace units are in millimeters. If they are, click the check mark. If they aren't, click here. Select millimeter. Green check mark. Select the top work plane. Click sketch. Press N on your keyboard for normal view. And we are going to start out drawing a construction line. So I pick the line tool and pick the construction tool. So whatever, whatever drawing tool you're using, if you click the construction line tool after, now it makes my line that I'm going to draw a construction line. And that just means the construction line is for reference to use to draw things with, but it's not going to be part of my actual part. Okay, so I'm going to draw an 80 millimeter, 80 millimeter, uh, click escape, 80 millimeter construction line. And I'm going to dimension that to 60 degrees. 60, enter. And I'm going to move this 80 out of the way. Okay. And I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to use this pattern that you guys just used when you were looking at the... Uh, the YouTube video and cutting one out of paper for practice. I'm going to use this pattern right here or close to it. It doesn't have to be exact, but I'm going to use this one. You can use your own. Hopefully you've come up with something that looks really cool. Okay, so I'm going to get my line tool. Start in the middle here. Go down to the line. Up, and I'm just going to draw that outline that I have, that I already did. And you'll notice to make this parallel, I can hover over that and go straight up. And it kind of snaps into position when it's in the right spot. Okay, so I'm just clicking, clicking, drawing, doing a little. Get that right. If it's not exact, it's okay. When I get to the top, I'm just going to draw straight down. So all I've really done is draw half of this. So I'll click there. Okay, and that completes that half of that shape that I got on this picture right here. So I just started here and I did that half of that shape. Okay, so I'm going to escape my line tool and I'm going to click and drag to select all this stuff I just made. And I'm going to use this tool right here. This is the mirror tool. So when I click mirror, it's going to tell me select a mirror line. So we're going to use this line here as the mirror. So whatever's on this side of the line, it's going to mirror it on this side. So as soon as I click on this line, watch, when I click, boom, it puts all that stuff that's on this side on this side. So now now this sort of looks like this shape here. It should look, you know, close anyway. Okay. So now before I do anything else, I need to get rid of this center line right here. And since I mirrored this, there's actually two of them there. So let's get our trim tool and I'm going to highlight, I'm going to select this and click on it. Now remember there's two, it, it, it mirrored both sides. So I'm going to click on it again. Now it's gone. Okay, now that's gone. Now I'm going to get my circular pattern tool here. Probably what you see is the linear pattern tool here first. Okay, so click on that, get the circular pattern. Click and select all the stuff we made. And what it does is it takes all of this stuff we made here and it makes three of them. 
3 is the default number, so it puts three of those things that I made there. If I click on the 3 twice, I can type in a 6 and then press return. Now I have six of them. And you'll notice right now you see the little green check mark right by the little mouse. If I That means I just need to click. So click, that accepts all that. So now I have a pretty cool looking little snowflake there. Now I'm going to extrude it. Extrude, and we're just gonna extrude this maybe four millimeters. So I'm gonna press four and tab and click OK. Click the green check mark and that just extruded that. Pretty neat. Now we're gonna chamfer. So see the chamfer tool right here? I'm gonna click the chamfer tool and the default is five, which is way too big for this. So I have to change that to one and press tab. That sets that in there. Now I can click anywhere on here and that selects everything. And I can turn it and click on the back and it selects the whole back. So now when I click the green check mark, I have that cool chamfer there, which looks pretty neat, I think. Okay, now the only thing we need left is a hole in this so we can hang it up. So I'm gonna click back on my top view. I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit. Click on the sketch. Tell the computer, okay, I wanna sketch right on here, right on the part, boom. And I want to circle. Okay, so I'm going to hover over that center line. And it just doesn't have to be exact. Anywhere up in here is going to work. I'm just going to go there. I'm going to click. I'm going to make that about four. Press enter. And extrude. Make sure when you hit extrude, you hit remove. We don't want to add something. We want to remove it. And the default is 25, which is like way back here. But we can just click OK because that doesn't matter. Click the green check mark. We have our hole. And now we have our little snowflake ready to go.